Tommy. Hey Wayne, here we go again, round two from the. Uh, so we get back together. We got the uh, again the security dog here for various reasons. We we we've, uh, we've had our lives threatened. Yes, we've been. Uh, the uh, left is not happy. The right's not happy. Nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. My <laughs> wife isn't happy. So, um, My wife don't like me. Couple quick shout outs. We had some birthdays uh, over a little bit. Uh, Timmy Miller from New York. Your brother Mike. Um, That's right. Anybody we're missing? I'm sure there is somebody with all this uh, grunting and canine problems. But uh, I think Pete the Giacomo a couple weeks ago had one. Yeah. Uh, I and by the way, thank you everybody for well wishes for mine in February. Um, God bless everybody. I'm still accepting well wishes through the end of March. Yeah, well wishes. It's a shout out too to our Dennis and Marty down there in Georgia. Hey, y'all. Hi, y'all. Uh, out in Arizona, Jack in Asheville. Rock on. Oh. And of course, as always. Oh. Timmy. In Miller? Miller's a deuce. In New York. Miller's a deuce. He don't deserve that. call up. He did well this call up. And neither does that Danny uh, the Federicus either. Oh, Danny in Albany. Yeah. Bingo. Mr. Cop, I was head of the union. I'm great. We get it, Danny. Um, anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Larry just texted. Want to know if the Moderna vaccine gave you gas? I didn't have it, so I couldn't answer that. Oh, you had Pfizer? I had Pfizer. Oh, got, by the way, got my first shot Saturday. Kind of felt shitty uh, Sunday for a little bit, a little bit Monday, but so far so good now and waiting for the, the, the last dose I'm waiting to for finally the, defeat the uh, Chinese Communist I go, Party. Yeah, I go a week from tomorrow for the uh, the obese vaccine. By the way, a year ago, it was about a year ago now that the uh, you know first started off that it was bats, people were eating bad food, we made light of it here. Uh -huh. uh, come to find out through the World Health Organization uh, where if you're thinking of donating to them, just give it to a food bank. <laughs> um, they, the Chinese were lying through their teeth and, uh, the government, everybody, the government, and, um, and, uh, it was all pretty much nightmare starting about a year ago. And, uh, lost a lot of good people during it and a lot of our friends, family got ill. So, uh, today's let's the, hope we're moving on. Today's the 10th. This is the day they shut down the NBA and the 11th was the NHL. And I remember that cause I was in Florida ready to watch a Sabre game. I'll tell you too, if you don't, if you remember on the 11th, they shut down the Pally. If you remember. Oh, no, when they shut down the Pally. They shut down My the sister Pally. used to skate at the Pally. I know. And now I guess it's what, a parking lot? Or it's a, a parking lot. I don't yeah. Know. They did it up on the Pally. Yeah. <laughs> I still have no idea what the Pally is, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Where do you want to start? Uh, Sabres? God help us all. Yeah, that's uh, some horrific hockey. We know that. Uh, of course, they get a point last night and probably saved his life for another week. Um, Bozo. I, uh, I just have to say this, you know, um, hey, the guy's too advanced for the hockey. Today's hockey isn't um, no, ready for him. No, he, he's, he's so far advanced. I, his I was, principles. I was on a, uh, another station yesterday, and I just want to clarify something. I made a Yellow comment. Yellow pages? Yes. Yeah. I made a comment, which uh, my, my daughter was very upset about. I said, uh, I used the term um, mentally challenged, and what I, where, how I used it, I'm not apologizing. Context? Huh? Well, how I was using it, and again, I'm not apologizing, but when he talks to the media, the, the, the team's intact. This is what he said to me. The team's intact, they're listening, and they're understanding. Well, first off, did we lose somebody in the terminal that I wasn't aware of? I mean, they're intact, and they're listening, and with the concepts, and the group on the ice has to get together and decide how to get the puck back. When they don't have it. Well, do you call a timeout? Like, let's say they're going on a three-on-one against us. Like, Philly's in a three-on-one last night. Could you just slam on your skates in the neutral zone, call timeout, and then we have to figure out how to get it back? I, 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 unless there's some way of having a quick meeting, maybe in the neutral zone, I, I don't think know. so. That's but great. That's a great the, concept. The players are listening. They're starting to understand. Victor Olofsson, who does not belong on the top six and cannot come off it, I don't know if it's through contract or whatever. Through contract. Um is now I also, heard, I also heard that while he was uh, coaching Switzerland, Kruger slept with Olofsson's mom. Well, there's got to be more to the story, right? <coughs> so. And um, Victor Olofsson, they, they had a talk with him over the weekend. He's now starting to see the open areas on the ice. Now, now he's treating these people, these players. Now, granted, Olofsson was a fifth or sixth round draft pick. Seventh. Player, but most of these guys are all first round picks. Mm -hmm. They've all been the stars of wherever. All right. Mm -hmm. He explains this like they're slowly starting to get it, <laughs> and that's what I meant by the mentally challenged. Like these are, why can't you coach a team and do to their strengths? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. trying to ramrod this shit, uh, this man on man D. That's vulgar. And, and uh, I, I, he's lost. The guy's lost, and that's. Well, the worst of it is okay. We got no points. We suck. <laughs> Ten straight year without the playoffs. The worst thing is, is we are ruining hockey players. Rasmus Dahlin has no idea what he's doing in his own zone. No. Okay? This kid was a number one overall. He looks like a 200 overall. We got guys on this team that can play but can't. Hall comes in. He can't do it. Eichel, I think, is hurt. We're starting to see it. We said <laughs> it here. He was hurt, and it looks like he is. But these guys, they're, 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 he's, he's ruining them. Well, he had a 90-goal line that he's completely destroyed out of his first camp. Now, Jeff Skinner scored the other day, first time since last January, February, whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the truth of the matter was that line was broken up out of his first camp. Yeah. He saw something he didn't like in this Olofsson. Yeah. And I, I think Victor Olsen's a good player, but he's a he's a bottom six guy right now. Well, he's bottom and he six, can play power play. And he's a special teams guy. We know that there are guys like that. Coda Lee. Coda Lee. Never that played. shot from the point, remember? But Coda Lee couldn't break the top ten, the top six. And and the keys to the game, like you're hearing these experts, Martin Dan Barone and these guys, they break it down like they're talking about a a, a pee -wee, pee wee team. Pee wee team. Now you the other night, get to the boards. Well, the other night we got me with Rob Ray. The other night when we were playing at home, mm -hmm. when Rob Ray said one of the keys is Roswell Park keys to the game. <laughs> parents out of the locker room. No more time. <laughs> the time is the players of Tyler. I mean, this is what we're getting to. Yeah, they got a Tyler. The bottom line skates. is this guy. You know, he, the players are getting, we don't realize what he inherited when he accepted the job. This job was difficult, he knew it, and he loves the challenge. Oh, that's, I'm glad you love it. And the things challenge. are happening behind the scenes. That we won't know about. What is like, oh, that's the puck. <laughs> and it almost reminds me, I'm going to switch on you real quick here, yeah. to the look Biden gave when he was in the press conference walking away to were gush, you know, escorting him out. Escorting him and out. somebody said, Mr. President, Mr. President, Southern Border, what's going on, Southern Border? He turned and stared at southern border, and then they were whisking all the reporters no, out. No, nobody told me about a border. Jill, is someone going on at the southern border? <laughs> My approval rates through the roof, they say. How about the warehouse yesterday, or the, uh, the hardware right. store yesterday? He goes to a small business. He's wandering from, like, aisle to aisle, with no, not saying anything, not doing anything, with a distant stare. I'm like, what in God's name? I have the distance there. <laughs> so we know. know. I'm, not only a, I'm not only a member, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> stop. security reasons. Uh, it's yeah. that black SUV. Yeah. It's a black SUV. Anyway, so, <laughs> he like just it. has that look like the southern border. Um, anyways, back to Sabres quick. Um, so they suck. We know that. The, my thing, he's got to be fired. <laughs> Terry and Kim got to step in. And, and here's the thing, they talk about culture and all this stuff. These guys in the NHL, these kids especially, mm -hmm. have never known losing. No. Uh, all of them. No. Uh, the old since played for Moto Jr. Yeah, they all went to the wonderful and teams. And when they lose, they mom and dad drive them down the road to the next. Same yeah. with uh, the the, uh, the yeah. Eichels, all of them. All of them, found the and best team. you got to put these guys in, a, in, in the right position, um, in, in the scheme that works. When they skate, they seem to do better. Hall looked a little better last night playing with two guys that could skate, not Pete Moss and uh, Stahl. <laughs> and, um, Pete Moss, gotta, by the way, is a pozo. Anyway. you got to play these players to their strengths. Now, Terry's got to step in, fire this guy. All yeah, right? he does. Number two, you shut the door and say, look, enough's enough. All right? Mm -hmm. I demand better. You, you, I you, paid the limit. You, $9 million. What yeah. am I getting for it? Uh, sure. No shots on you, the lens now. You, $6 million. Get out of here, and people. Anybody that doesn't want here... Speak up. Yeah. Get we'll out get, now. We'll get you out. We're done. And uh, you might not like where you're going, but... Um, Siberia. <clears throat> we got to have some players that... I want a team that looks like they really want to play here. And this group doesn't. <clears throat> and I bring up this. Uh, the Fred Smurlis book. When we had that uh, genius defensive coordinator, Hank Bullock. Oh, Hank Bullock. And um, he was, he was Great again, coach. another horrific... Um, and it was a rumor. The Bills were playing down in Tampa, and there was a rumor in the Tampa paper... Um, if Bills lose, Bullock could be gone. And the Bills kicked off the first defensive puddle. <coughs> yeah. The defensive guy made the call, and then Bruce said, hold on, y'all. Anybody makes a tackle today, you deal with me. The whole huddle laughed. <laughs> I mean, they couldn't stand him. But Get rid of him. <coughs> they did play, and they lost at the end of the game. It wasn't like they laid down. But players, players and know. most of that core of that team <coughs> under Bullock went on to become the 87, 88, 89, and you know the rest of the story, Buffalo Bills. That's right. Just so, horrible coaching. 
That's what we need with the Sabres. We got we have some guys that can play. Um, you know, for all you guys out there to listen to this and you know, on and on and on about Johan Larson. Johan Larson was a loser for eight years. He did nothing here. However, I will give you this: he's better than Cody Eakin, and he would have came at a third of the cost. So I'll give you that. That's all I'm going to give you. Right now, we got to talk about the Bills. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like uh, look, all right. We got uh, Morris took a two million dollar cut. Uh, they cut today. Uh, Brown and Jefferson, okay, <coughs> and they got a pay cut out of Vernon Butler, okay, okay. Uh, so we're getting ready for a free agency next week. It looks like uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what you think, Tom, but the more I think about um, Milano and maybe paying him eleven million, I just I really don't want to let him go. I mean, the other free agents, I think, and I don't know as much as Bean, obviously are going to cost the same or more. We know what we got in this kid. Yes, he had a bad year last year as far as injuries. But, you know, he might, uh, Bean might just be thinking, we'll find somebody in the draft. But you don't know what you're finding in the draft. No. Unless they love Dodson so much, Dodson and A.J. Smith. Well, you, you always want to uh, keep your own. You know, that's what they, uh, yeah, they draft and keep yeah. them and stuff. And, um you know, the cap's where it is right now, but it's going to skyrocket with this billion-dollar deal. They're talking, uh, it's 182. Ours is 188 because there's some rollover. However, they're talking maybe 220 next year. So can't you, uh, I'll give you the example I gave you. David, the linebacker for Tampa. Right. They signed him two years, $24 million. So I was like, oh, $12 million, not bad. You know? It's a six-year contract. The last four years, voidable. Right. So his, his cap hit this year is $3 million. Now, I get it. You got to pay the piper sometime, but if the piper's going up twenty three million, uh, you know, or thirty thirty million, excuse me, uh, you, you know the piper can pay for it. You know, um, I we, we both have all the trust in the world in being a McDermott. Yes, we definitely do. And uh, I don't think Milano's out of the picture yet. <clears throat> I hope not. Um, but I, but I do. I want to say this. I agree with you. If Milano's if they say go out sniff around and he leaves, I'm not going to cry. Because these guys think they don't think like all the old GMs of the Bills. Right. They're thinking down. I got to pay this guy in two years. This guy, I got Josh Allen. I, and they're thinking down the road. You know, the, the Bills liked Shaq Lawson a lot, and they also liked um, Jordan Phillips. They did. And those guys went out and tested the market and got pretty decent deals for themselves. Yeah. Now we hear Phillips could be available. Yeah. So things aren't always as rosy on the other side with because, the cap and because stuff. Because they overpaid. Absolutely. Now and, they didn't know COVID was coming, but. And um, overpay, but sometimes guys are a good fit where they are. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. With I'd like to keep Milano. I'd like to keep Feliciano. Yeah, me too. Um, and obviously Daryl Williams, but um, these guys will, will find a way here. Well, and, we, uh, we we didn't tag anybody. That was yesterday or the day before. So now it comes down to uh, free what about, agency is uh, next Wednesday. What about the transition tags and such, like on um, <clears throat> Benorquez and... Um, some of those kind of guys that at least you'd have to make a team pay more if they were going to take them from you. We didn't put any tags in. Nothing, huh? No. Okay. We didn't do any. There weren't a lot of tags around the league, to be honest. All right. Um, I think there, everybody was really afraid because those tags are usually hefty paychecks. Right. And you're worried about it now. So I think, um, again, being whatever he does, you're not going to hear on this show or in my living room screaming about, you know, right. why didn't we keep this guy? Because the guy has a plan. And uh, while we're going to be okay next year in 22, uh, you're going to have some teams probably screwed up. So, and, and I do think there's going to be a lot of guys cut yeah, next and week and this week. Some and, interesting and, names I've heard, uh, tight ends, the Dan Arnold. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big Kyle Rudolph fan. No, he's getting uh, up in age, long in the tooth there. The thing. guy in um, L.A. Uh, well, you got Hunter Henry who uh, out in the Chargers. Now, that guy can flat out play. And he was released, but Hunter Henry, I don't think, is going to sign for less than ten or eleven million. And I don't think you go there. No, um, you go I don't either. You definitely, before anything else, you, you got to find Ed Rusher. Now, Von Miller, well, what's the story there? Do we know anything? Yeah, I mean, he, they, they haven't released him yet, but they're saying they're going to. He'll be a cap casualty. Now, you never know if he sits down with uh, with John Elway and says, you know what, I'll take three, four million less a year. Right, and it seems to be happening more. That I've heard. Um, a uh, Lawson, um, is it Matt La Carl Lawson? Oh. Matt Lawson, Carl. I think it's Carl Lawson. Okay. I'm not sure of the team, but somebody said he could be a guy that'd be a nice fit. And and Seattle just traded for him, got rid of Carlos Dunlap because of his contract. What did they trade for? 
Remember Dunlop, Carlos yes, Dunlop went him. from Cincinnati to Seattle? Well, Seattle used him, thought maybe that's the piece to get him into the Super Bowl. Didn't they just cut him? I saw that. Too, Carlos right? Dunlop, uh, he's a good player. Um, so there's, I think there's going to be a lot out there, and that, and we're probably four or five days away from seeing some big names out there. And I think Bean is a smart enough guy to pick and choose, as opposed to some of these GMs who are trying to make their way. They might just be grabbing at names and overpaying. And uh, this is a, a nice place to play. You, you can't help but turn on a national broadcast. Well, what about here. Long? Yeah, talk about Long. Uh, Chris Long yesterday was on. He loved uh, coming up here and playing. Uh, it was like college to him. The fans are knowledgeable. They're on top. He loved all of that. And uh, he said he's a closet Bills fan, loves mm -hmm. the Bills. And he also said um, not. He his advice was don't go crazy. You're close. Mm -hmm. um, you know, don't go nuts in one direction. You got a real close team right here, and his brother's coming out of retirement. Kyle, who's an offensive lineman. And I think Miami took him, and he played some tackle for Miami, and he bounced a little bit. But I think that kid can play. Right. Should be interesting. So people want to come to Buffalo now. Maybe not Sabers anymore, but the Bills. Yeah, that's and that's a sin. And again, we we touched on that and uh, fire Kruger. I'll just say that. I'm sorry, <laughs> Rolf. Rolf. But again, uh, anyways, uh, that's that was a quick one. Now we got five minutes left. Um. Uh, what else we want to talk about the Bills? Um, that's so really uh, edge rusher. Love a tight end, but I think edge rusher is big. Um, offensive tackle. If we don't keep Williams, I think you can get Feliciano on the cheap. I think we'll keep him. Um, and then I'll be honest with you, and you've heard me say this before. Um, I think the kid from Pitt is going to be our second cornerback. Yeah, and Levi Wallace maybe will be back too. Yeah, he'll be back. He's a player, but. Um, Remember, the edge rusher is the key to all of that because the less time that quarterback has to throw makes everybody better. And I know everybody's saying, well, quick release, blah, blah, blah. Got to have that rush. I know, and, and you really, only, all you really have to do is watch one game, the Super Bowl. I mean, the difference between our D and Tampa's D was that pressure, that constant pressure, that even a guy that's escapable like Mahomes couldn't do it. Right, and that's the, and that they he, they never let him get set, and that was just that was huge. Well, not only that, people say, well, that you'll never see a Kansas City line beat up like that. Okay, mm -hmm. back up a week mm -hmm. when Cleveland played him, and mm -hmm. that line was intact. I mean, the guys got hurt during the game. the The big lineman for Cleveland was a, and that's how Mahomes got hurt, right? Yeah, he got torn up. Yeah. Um, the Cleveland, uh, the, the Miles Garrett, mm -hmm. they couldn't handle him. No, now, to couldn't. get a Miles Garrett, you got to have a top 10 pick, but... We're not going to get that, but... you know, got to find somebody, right? We'll find somebody. This is a good football team with a good front office and a great GM and coach, and I think we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Tom, we've got about three and a half minutes. Uh, I'm just going to put out a quick warning. Get your Dr. Seuss books while you can. Yeah. Because that is horrific, but you can still buy Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf. And How to Grope Your Way Through a Pandemic by our... By our Andrew Cuomo. Yeah. Cuomo wrote How to Grope Through the Pandemic. It's, it's flying off the shelves. And I guess Pepe Le Pew. Um, horrific. Horrific. They, I always was troubled by him. They, they pulled Pepe Le Pew because it was, uh, he, he kind of, uh, he got people to think about rape. Cause he, he can, used to, can show our ancestors as uh, white supremacist yeah. and horrific people, yet uh, we can't show other ancestry that oh, no. collected weird things and had different dietary habits. Um, I'll leave it at that. What's next? So we got Le Pew. Um, uh, we got Popeye's got to go. No, no, no. There's one that they they actually just said though too. Somebody ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh. Peter Pan. Oh, Peter Pan. Now was that because they think he's homosexual? Well, Errol Flynn. I think that Errol Flynn played the role and then later found out that he was. Now some say he got that way in the filming of Peter Pan. Yeah, he didn't want to be. It just came. Right. No, um, Peter Pan. Now, so they're gonna have to go down to Disney and they gotta, you know, that ride's gotta be tweaked because Peter Pan was flying all over the place. Right. And as my dad would say, you know, close the window, fly right out of here. <laughs> by, <laughs> by the way, um, uh, rebuild that wall. It's already yes. paid for. Get it going again. We're paying fines because the people that aren't working now that were paid and the, and the contracts were signed to finish the wall. It's a disaster there. Uh, the cadaver well, chief has well, no well, idea. What, what's happening at the border? Has no idea. By the way, his dog bit somebody that was removed from the White House. Well, what happened? You won't see that on any news. Well, <laughs> I'm kidding. What happened? What? Is there something going on in Mexico? What's happening at the border? I don't know. I they're, talked to the President Mayo. They're coming oh, over by the. Don't drink of water. <laughs> But, uh, and we're paying for that. We're vaccinating them. It's unbelievable. Let's give them some uh, health care. Please, everybody, call your politicians. It's got to stop at the border. 
we got to have a closed border. You can't have open walls. And what's her name out there in Wonderland? Uh, open Biden. Uh, oh, oh P P P Pelosi. What's her name? Oh, uh, Pelosi. Pelosi. By the way. By the way, she's 106, and she. So this is for the American people. Eight percent of it is for COVID, but 